app on your Roku, Apple TV, or Amazon Fire device. You can also watch America's Voice on the Dish Network, Channel 219, America's Voice News. In a world where quality business information is needed, we bring you on the mic with Mike, the leading social enterprise business show in RVA. Join Mike King, the partnership guru, daily at 1 p.m. on WJFN 100.5 FM, 92.7 FM, and 820 AM as he delivers game changers in Metro RVA. On the Mike with Mike showcases how business can help make society better. He discusses tech, culture, innovation, best business practices, and highlighting area nonprofits. Join Mike at 1 p.m. Monday through Friday, because it is the place where the best and brightest come to chat. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to On the Mic with Mike. It is the leading daily social enterprise business show in the RVA area. I'm your host, Mike King, and I appreciate you being here with me. The views expressed here are mine, have no connection to, support of, or agreement with any of the host information or ads on the station. I don't work for the station. I'm just appreciative that my program airs here on a daily basis, and we're able to bring the program to you. So, folks, join me as this cutting-edge show uplifts the community and showcases RVA in a different way. The sounds you're listening to are emanating from the Mike King Biz Studio, which is the global epicenter of social enterprise business. Joining us today, as always, is the super producer, the man on the wheels of steel, Al Green, and we can be reached by calling 804-778-8888. On the Mic with Mike highlights partnerships, people, social enterprise, business, organization, as well as issues of the day. To get more information about the program and to follow us, you can go to on Facebook, On the Mic with Mike RVA. That way you can get past shows, you can get information, you can leave reviews, just do what you'd like there. Uh, we'd just like to thank you for tuning in. So. Uh, the program, we'd like to thank our show sponsor, Tom Childry, the credit card guy. And Tom does some excellent work as far as credit card processing. If you have any issues or you guys would like information, please contact Tom Childry, the credit card guy, at 804 503 8472. He does a lot of great work in the community as well, uh, providing help to nonprofits, which is very important to this program. Along the way, we have to pay some bills. Uh, we, there is a cost to bring this con- this information to you. We'd just like to thank uh, you guys for uh, being listeners and take a listen to our partners and sponsors when the ads play. They do help us stay on the air here. Today, folks, we have a great show. We have Alex Glazer from the Glazer Group, one of the top real estate agents and agency groups in the in the area here. They do a lot of work with some great work as far as real estate. They are real estate rock stars, but besides that, what they're really known for and what's really close to this program is the work that they do in the nonprofit world supporting the community. The Glazer Group is one of the most connected groups in the, in the area as far as supporting nonprofits, one being the Richmond Animal, Animal League. So Alex Glazer will be here talking about what they do. Also, now this is a big one, folks. We also have uh, Katrina Coop. I'm sorry, one second here. Uh, Katrina Cobb from uh, the Small Business School Challenge. That's a nationwide event, and what it does, it it pairs uh, MBA students along with business organizations. And uh, she's going to be in here. Katrina Cobb is going to talk to us at 1.30, talking about what she does and how it impacts the the nation. So we're usually talking about the things here specific to uh, RVA, but this program, we go far and wide to bring you the best information. And so... Uh, Katrina Cobb will be here at the bottom of the hour with the Small Business School Challenge. Uh, So if you'd like to get more information and talk to her or talk to Alex, please give us a call at 804-778-8888. 
And uh, with that being said, we'd like to welcome Alex to the program. Alex, welcome to the program, sir. Hey, Mike. How you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for taking the time. It's always, I know the Glazer Group is always doing some big things. Let folks know what you guys are doing, and then we'll talk about, we'll run through some questions, and you can tell us what to do and exciting with you guys as well. Sure. And uh, just to let you know, I've got my wife and business partner, Lauren. Hey, Lauren. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing well. How are you? Pretty good. So oh, all right, we'll, we'll touch on that with, with you and Lauren in a little bit. So go ahead, Alex. So me and my wife are real estate agents here in the greater Richmond area. I've uh, been doing it personally 11 years. I've almost helped over 800 families move. And we just kind of took a big commitment in 2017 once our business got established and um, just to start giving back to the community and so we thought about what, where do we focus, what do we care a lot about, and that's you know animals in need. So we started donating to a local animal shelter called Richmond Animal League um, for every house that we sell. And in the last two and a half years, we've donated over seventy thousand dollars, and it's just something we're passionate about, and just one of our ways to to give back to the community. All right, Alex, so now you're being modest. Let's talk. We're going to get to the Richmond Animal League and things like that. So, uh, Lauren and Alex, tell us, tell people who the Glazer Group is. You guys are one of the top agencies in town. Give folks a little bit about the agency, the market, how things look from where you guys stand. So in terms of the agency, it's me and my wife, and then we've got a couple other realtors that help us as well. So, you know, on average, we help between 130 and 150 families move every year, but we do that with help. You know, we've got two amazing buyers agents, Joseph and James, um, and just a lot of staff and admin like Wendy and Sam that really keep all this running. Because to be able to help that many people and give good customer service, it takes a team. You can't do it by yourself. And then in terms of the marketplace of what's been happening here in Richmond, it's definitely been the most interesting year I've ever seen. Like when COVID started mid March, no one knew what was going on. And personally I was scared. Like I think everyone was, no one knew what to expect. And the last thing I expected was for the real estate market to somehow get stronger once it kind of rebounded um, starting in like early May and then into June and then July and August were like record months, like the most amount of sales Richmond's ever seen and now we're at a dramatically low inventory level. It's created this like weird, perfect storm for sellers market, and prices are skyrocketing right now. That and when <clears throat> when you guys started out, no one really knew what this market. I guess what COVID would do to the real estate market, and for the realtors that we talked to, it is crazy. Do you see it holding on for a while? So I'm I'm sure you can talk to 10 different realtors and get 10 different opinions. But my personal opinion is it's all based around supply and demand. You know, there's a lot of factors that are around the real estate market and the economy and the country as a whole. But as long as supply is low and demand is high, it's going to keep going. Like we actually just personally sold our house because we saw how high prices were. And I was shocked. We had over 50 showings in four days. Wow. And about a $500,000 price range in Stratford Hills, Richmond, which I never would have expected. I think that the uh, interest rates being really, really low right now also has something to do with, you know, what's driving the market and keeping it, quote unquote, healthy at this time. Let me ask you, so well. when you guys, do you approach people or do people approach you saying, hey, you know, I've heard how good it is to sell a home or are you guys still reaching out to uh, people to say, hey, now would be a good time if you ever thought about it? A little bit of both. Like we have our clients and our database that we keep up to date on what's going on around town. And, you know, we're not shy about sharing what's going on in the marketplace. And, you know, a lot of people find us because of our marketing and just kind of our reputation and, you know, some of them are selling just because prices are high, but you got to think if you sell your house, you got to buy another one. So it's not, it's not one sided. So it'd be an amazing time to sell your house, but then it becomes a little bit more interesting or difficult time to buy one. Um, so people still need to be motivated and everyone has a different motivation on why they're selling. But if you're selling and not immediately buying, it makes it a little bit easier. 
That is true. The time is 1.16. The program is on the mic with Mike. We're here daily with you, uh, 1 to 2 p.m. on 100.5, 92.7, 820 a.m. It's a place where the game changers come to talk. We are talking now with Alex and Lauren Glazer. So you guys mentioned uh, marketing, and this is a business show. Lauren, why don't you take this? Your uh, social media is outstanding. Oh, you guys, you. you guys are known for what you talk a little bit about the social media and the videos that you put out, and the importance of that and separating yourself from the pack with what you do on the social media side. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we not a little bit ago, maybe a year or so ago, uh, changed our Instagram handle to uh, it's at Why Richmond is Awesome, and we figured that you know we have enough clients come into the area new, why not showcase everything that Richmond has to offer for anybody who is thinking about moving to the area or people and clients who even live here now. I mean, Alex and I both grew up in the Richmond area and there's still so many things we haven't done or haven't tried. So it just seems like a great way for us to get to know the city we're trying to sell and uh, help out other local businesses and um, kind of, turn some of that knowledge over to our followers. That is true. And what you guys do and the way you do it is, is outstanding. You guys are doing for putting on some pretty extravagant events. What has COVID done to, to that for you? Uh, well, uh, I really miss it. Yeah, we usually throw a couple client appreciation parties every year, um, anywhere from small ones to big ones at like restaurants or top golf or we'll rent out a movie theater. Um, COVID has definitely put a halt to that, which <laughs> it makes me very sad. It was always so fun to do. But uh, in lieu of that, we kind of had to pivot. And so now we offer virtual trivia every Thursday evening. Uh, we do two games starting at 7.30 and 8.30. And we, yeah, actually tonight. Um, every Thursday. Every Thursday we let the um, viewers or the, the players pick some of their uh, favorite local businesses, and then we purchase the gift cards and give them out as prizes during trivia. So it's free to play. We're supporting local businesses. We're getting our names out there, and honestly, everybody has a good time. That is true. The one that I had seen, the video that you guys did at the movie theater was, I mean, all the videos are, are outstanding. That one looked like you guys had a great time there. Oh, yeah, it was. And before COVID, we would, um, Alex would would go and, you know, interview other local businesses and make a video for them um, so they could get something to share as well as us. And a lot of, obviously, restaurants kind of shut down at least temporarily during COVID. So that kind of got put on hold. And we're working on ways to pick that back up again as well, just yeah, we, in general. We're now making more videos, and a lot of them are still in production of just about the area or different areas of town, um, different things you can do outside parks. Um, so again, like Beth, every business, you know, our marketing, we can't really go inside and get face to face and interview business owners like we used to. So we're just focusing on different parts of why Richmond is awesome. And we definitely are looking forward to when we can pick back up what we were doing before. That's true. So I, real quick, I'd just like to say thanks to Jennifer for connecting us. Uh, she does an outstanding job. So I, thanks to Jennifer once again. Agreed. So the time is one twenty. Alex and Lauren, let me ask you, are there any areas hotter than others as far as real estate goes, or is this everything's on fire? For the most part, everything's on fire. There's definitely certain areas that are just even hotter than others. Um, the city as a whole usually is pretty popular. Like even before COVID, just again, supply and demand, there isn't really room to build more residential housing in the city because it's you know, already been built up for years and years. Um, so if you want to buy in that area, your choices are much more limited where if you're out in the suburbs, uh, you have new construction options and they can't build them fast enough. With lumber prices going up and uh, building supply shortages, um, a lot of the times to build a home are taking longer than normal. But at least there's options out there where downtown or anywhere in the city, you're kind of limited, mo majority to just resales. 
And right now, inventory is the lowest I personally have ever seen it. And as far back as the data I could track, like, you know, 2003, it was as far back as our data goes. And this is the lowest, you know, active inventory level since then and probably before then. Your time is 121. Alex and Lauren Glazer of the Glazer Group. Can you guys hold on for a moment? Sure. Cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have to go away and take care of some things, pay some bills. As I say, my grandkids need stuff, and that's a, that's the quote from my wife. So uh, we'll talk to you on the other side. Thanks. Hi, I'm Tom Childry, the credit card guy with Beyond. I believe it should not be confusing or expensive for your business to accept credit cards. As a social enterprise business advocate, my mission gets you paid faster with fair rates, helping your business grow. We can be contacted at area code 804-503-8472, 804-503-8472, or at getbeyond.com. Again, I'm Tom Childry, the credit card guy. Quick, easy collect. We make it easier than you expect. Hi everyone, it's Pavi Leitner, the CEO and founder of Finlit and your family certified financial educator dedicated to the financial success of you and your family. Are you not sure where to start with your finances or are you looking to sign your middle schooler up for our virtual camp? Book us at www.finlitva.com. That is www.fin L-I-T-V-A dot com. Finlit is creating a money conscious community. Chris Chip here with Focus Floors, and we are offering a free upgrade in any Bono water-based poly for any job that gets put on our schedule. Uh, you can reach us at FocusHardwoodFlooring.com or just check out us out on Facebook or Instagram. Facebook, uh, Focus Floors 804, Instagram 804. Thank you. Hi, my name is Catrice Roots, CEO of Catrice Roots Productions. Are you looking for a videographer to film advertisements for your business, weddings, special events, and many other activities? Then I am the person you want to contact. Contact me by my email at catricerootsproductions at gmail.com. Also visit my website at catricerootsproductions.com. Also feel free to follow me on Instagram at Catrice Roots. Hi, my name is Daquan Woodbury, also known as Chef PQ. The restaurant industry is going through a hard time right now. With COVID-19, a lot of things are going on, restaurants are shutting down, they might have to even close their doors for good. In the past few months, we've seen how life can change dramatically in a blink of an eye. Fortunately, I've created a system, a proven system, that allows restaurants to stay successful in this new way of life. As the owner of RVA Cafe, I would love to help you through these challenging times. Go to redindigofood.com for more information. Mike King isn't a businessman. He's a businessman with his own talk show on the mic with Mike, the best business radio program in the game. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to On the Mic with Mike. It is the premier social business enterprise show in the area. Uh, I'd like to thank Alex and Lauren Glazer for joining us today. At the bottom of the hour, we are going to have Katrina Cobb of the Small Business School Challenge talking about pairing up MBA students as well as uh, businesses who are looking to uh, get some help. Tomorrow, we have Jimmy Budd from uh, Fashion RVA Fashion Week. He's going to be in. We're also, tomorrow, we have... Uh, it's uh, Modern Love with Paula Pardell. So, SBA Wednesdays, Modern Love. This program takes you everywhere, folks. But today we're talking to Alex and Lauren. Alex, thanks for holding on, you guys. I appreciate it. Of course. All righty. Let folks know really quickly how they can find you. So, uh, Instagram, our handle is why Richmond is awesome. Um, we also have a YouTube channel related to that. Again, just search the same thing, why Richmond is awesome. Our website is alexsellsrichmond.com, and you know Google's a great tool. You can just search our name, Alex Glazer, G-L-A-S-E-R, uh, order the Glazer Group, and you'll you'll be able to find us for sure that way. 
All righty, let's talk really quickly about the passion that you guys have as far as helping the community. The floor is yours. Let us know what you're working on and anything that people need to know about that they can jump in and help as well. So our primary focus is with Richmond Animal League. We chose them just because, you know, that's kind of what we resonated with. We have three rescue dogs from Richmond Animal League. And they're the only local animal shelter that receives no government funding. It's a fully private animal shelter organization. So they're 100% reliant on community contributions. And I don't know, we just, you know, I've met a lot of the people that work there and just really like them. And so back in 2017, when we decided we wanted to give back a little more frequently, we came up with sell a house, save a pet program. So essentially every time we sell a house, we donate to Richmond Animal League. But since we sell a lot of houses, we're fortunate enough that since 2017, we've donated a little over $70,000 to their organization. And we just feel very excited and, and fortunate to be in that position to be able to help them out like that. How can people get involved and what can they do to, to help the organization? Um, the website is RAL. Dot org, uh, or if you just search Richmond Animal League, uh, I think on the main page there's the big red donate button. Um, they're always looking for contributions. I think with any business or organization, their uh, donations and contributions went down this year because with COVID, people with uncertainty were scared. Um, so they're operating on a much tighter budget than they're used to. Also, um, he does. It doesn't have to be money. A lot. It, will, it doesn't have to be a lot, but it doesn't have to be money to donate to them. Um, they do various events and silent auctions. So if you have any goods or services that you'd like to donate that they can auction off, that would help them out a lot too. Um, they also have a food, community food pantry. Um, it's just walk up. It's under a covered roof area out front. And you can literally just donate straight pet supplies. I know they have an Amazon wish list, but they'll take anything, whether okay. it be dog food, cat food, towels and blankets. Um, they're in a building that was originally built for 200 animals a year, and they're currently rescuing and finding homes for 2,000 wow. animals a year out of the same building. So if they're using the space very, very efficiently. Um, but, yeah, they, as with any... You know, nonprofit, they're always looking for help any which way the community be willing to, to give it to them. All righty, folks, you guys need to uh, support Alex and Lauren as they support the community. One last time, let folks know how they can find you. Um, our website is alexfellsrichmond.com. And on Instagram, it's why Richmond is awesome. All righty. I appreciate it, Alex and Lauren. Thanks now. Hey, tell Sam I said hello a as well. <laughs> so it, it's hello, funny. Girl. It's funny because my son is the blowout king. Oh, I've gone to him like multiple times. Wow. I love him. I'll always get, not always, but I get my hair done before trivia on Thursday. Well, you know, this is how dads work. Tell him I said hello. You know, I don't see. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it. All right. Awesome. Hey, appreciate it. Thanks, you guys. Take care. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that me. is... Alex and Lauren of the Glazer Group, they do some outstanding work. Make sure you support them. We will talk to you on the other side of uh, the break. Thanks, now. Take care. There's a new star in Virginia, the VirginiaStar.com. Finally, there's a newspaper in Virginia that delivers the unfiltered truth on politics and information you need to know. I love it. It's about time. Man, it's great. I read it every morning. The VirginiaStar.com. Unbiased. No slant, just facts. The VirginiaStar.com. It's not the mainstream media, it's the truth stream media. So if you're tired of fake news, get real news now. The VirginiaStar.com. Attention, Virginia Patriots. Do you want to help save America this November? Join our team. American Majority Action is a national conservative organization that mobilizes citizens to get involved in the political process. We are looking for patriots to join our paid team of door-to-door -door canvassers now through November 3rd. Save Virginia. Save America. It's now or never. Contact us at www.virginiastar.com. 
am-action.org slash Virginia or Liz at am-action.org. Thursday, I'm Kiara Johnson with your WJFN 100.5 FM weather report brought to you by Dominion Energy. Richmond, sunny today, high 78. Tonight, cloudy with showers with 50% chance of those, low 53. Charlottesville, sunshine this morning becoming mostly cloudy with showers developing this afternoon, high 76. Chance of rain, 50%. For your tonight, periods of rain, low 52, 80% chance of rain. Rainfall near a quarter of an inch. Fredericksburg, sunny early, then increase in clouds with showers this afternoon, high 76, 50% chance of rain. So your tonight, cloudy with periods of rain, low 52, 90% chance of rain, and rainfall around quarter of an inch. That has been your weather report. Visit DominionEnergy.com. Folks, this is the most important election of our time. America itself is on the ballot. The police are on the ballot as radicals push to defund law enforcement while doing nothing to deter the looting and violence tearing apart our nation's cities. The fact is our safety is on the ballot too and our way of life. That's why I'm urging you to join an effort sponsored by the Job Creators Network. They're working with the biggest conservative host in America like me. This election is about one thing, turnout. The left has their get out the vote machine now. We need ours. That's why the single most important thing you can do to save our country is go to keepamericaamerica.com. That's keepamericaamerica.com and become a volunteer in the biggest get out the vote effort in history. You'll be given tasks that can make a difference in November. Do a little, do a lot, but please do your part. Go to KeepAmericaAmerica.com now. That's KeepAmericaAmerica.com. Welcome to the SBA Weekly Business Tip. I'm Martin Short with the U.S. Small Business Administration, Virginia Richmond District Office. There are primarily four ways to fund your business. One way is self-funding or bootstrapping. Self-funding can come from family, friends, using your savings accounts, or even tapping into your 401k. With self-funding, you retain complete control over the business, but you also take on all the risk. Be careful not to spend more than you can afford. To learn more, visit us at sba.gov VA. We're here to help you start, grow, expand, or recover. Does your home need a makeover? If so, refresh with quality with LA Labor and Painting, LLC. They make your home sparkle and be the envy of the community. They are masters at interior and exterior painting, drywall, they clean decks, they landscape, and remove items you wish were gone. The bottom line is, they refresh with quality, provide professional service, and follow all guidelines regarding COVID-19. Call today to make your home sparkle. You can reach LA Labor by calling 804-972-8014. Call today for the On The Mic With Mike discount. When you mention the program, you'll receive 20% off of the beautification of your most prized possession. Call LA Labor and Painting today at 804-972-8014. Thank you, attorneys Justin Lauder and Chris Gatewood at Threshold Council PC for sponsoring this program. They offer startup, business, and intellectual property services for innovative and growing organizations. You can find them online at threshold.cc. Are you tired of dating online? Bloom Matchmaking offers a safe and effective alternative. Every match is vetted and background checked. Bloom Matchmaking offers a personalized experience just for you. Check us out at bloommatchmaking.com or give us a call at 804-205-5063. Let Bloom take the stress out of dating. Mention On The Mic With Mike and receive 20% off. That number again is 804-205-5063. Bloom Matchmaking, where love grows. Mike with Mike. From Michael Mike. Spot the Michael Mike. Michael Michael Mike. My name is Isabella and you're listening to My King Biz Hubby. That's my scam. Mm.
Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to On the Mic with Mike. It is the premier social enterprise business show in the Richmond area. Those are my grandkids. That's my granddaughter, Isabella, with the, with the promo right there. I just want to touch on, on one thing really quickly. At the beginning of the program, I say that I don't work for the station. Uh, I'm just glad that my program airs here on a daily basis. When you hear overly overt ads, like the one you'd heard earlier about turn out to vote, well, that's not mine. That's through the station, and that has to play. But since we're gonna we're gonna touch on that topic really for a moment, to vote, yes, please get out and vote and exercise your right. This is a conservative station. I don't lean that way. But you guys, I just thank you. I'd like to thank you for listening. But also, I feel something that the government needs to do better. So we as a people. 208,000 people who were passed away with coronavirus, thousands upon thousands losing their jobs on a daily basis. We have a ton of people who are unemployed. I think that the country needs to go in a different direction, and I will do all I can to help take it in that direction. So if you don't like those words, uh, please give me a call. The number is 804-778-8888. It's a business program, and it has affected business in a very impactful way. With that being said, I'd like to welcome in Katrina Cobb of the Small Business School Challenge. Katrina, welcome to the program. Hey, Mike. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to have a chance to talk about some of these important issues you just mentioned. (laughs) They are some, you know, you didn't know you were calling up to get that part of it. (laughs) (laughs) It's all good. Part of why we exist. All righty. So here, most of the people who come in here, I know them or know something of them. Your bio, I have to read this. So it says, (laughs) Katrina Cobb is a digital nomad, business consultant, and speaker who helps business owners scale smartly. You're also the co-founder and executive director of the nonprofit Small Business School Challenge, which was formed to help small business owners across the U.S. adapt and innovate in light of the sudden changes brought on by COVID. You're currently focused on preparing for the second Small Business School Challenge event happening October 15th through the 17th. It's a virtual hackathon pairing small business owners with teams of sharp MBA students from top schools across the country for a 48-hour design thinking challenge. Ma'am, the floor is yours. Please let people know about this important event that you're doing. Absolutely. So uh, we had the idea when COVID hit earlier this spring to find a more tangible way to help small businesses adjust their sales when the rug got pulled out from underneath them. Between the shutdowns, between social distancing, between deregulations, between new buyer behavior and just social behavior, so many small businesses were completely, completely disrupted. Um, and so my co-founder had the idea to tap into some of the brightest minds who their whole, their whole job and career is about business strategy and business solutions and went directly to some business schools to see if their MBA students who all of a sudden also had their semesters interrupted would like a new challenge and put their, their learning, put their experience, put their education to work on behalf of their local communities. So we ramped up a virtual event, took the the model of a classic business case competition, which for those of you that don't have kind of the MBA background, it's usually you're given a virtual sort of hypothetical business situation, and then teams are challenged to come up with solutions to compete against each other with the same strategy. So we thought, what if we took real business owners who really actually needed this advice right now in a tangible way? and paired them up with these teams. And that was the birth of the first Small Business School Challenge, which we ran in May. And it was such an overwhelming success and impact. The words and stories we got from, goodness, both small businesses. We had about 150 plus small businesses across the state participate. And MBAs from more than 20 universities joined the challenge to help them. It was just amazing. So we knew this was a thing we were going to continue. And that's what we've been working on ever since. So our next event is coming up in just a few short weeks here, which is very exciting. And I know this is predominantly a local show, but we do have a school from just up the road, Georgetown, okay. participating as well as many others across the state. It's funny because we had done something that local here was called Spark Jam, and it, it had the same business model where they paired students together with uh, organ business organizations and come up with uh, models to help them, whether it be uh, specific to in- to industry. So you know it may be the restaurant industry, it may be something in production. And so what you're doing is outstanding. How can businesses get involved uh, in the process and try and get some help? 
Absolutely. So applications are still open for about another week, and everything is listed on our website as ways to get involved. So that is vsbschallenge.com, and all they have to do is apply for help. And we're open to any industry. We really want to be able to help the small businesses who could use some exterior support, could use some outside thinking, could use just some extra brain put to the task of how do they adapt, how do they succeed, how do they overcome over the next year. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Katrina Cobb, uh, who is a business strategist. She's a speaker, a consultant. Let me ask you this right now. So you talk, give us your journey really quickly. How do you get <laughs> from where you are to the small business challenge? Oh, goodness. So my journey actually took me through small business ownership. So I actually studied architecture in college, but made a big career change and opened a brick and mortar business about a decade ago and had my first crash course in small business entrepreneurship (laughs) and made a lot of amazing connections, learned a lot of great things and had a chance to grow in that community for eight years or so until shifting over to becoming a consultant. And It was the connections made in the course of that time and then branching out on my own so I could do a little bit more traveling and kind of shift the way I support people with everything that I've learned that allowed me to get (laughs) invited, essentially. I got a friend called me up to to share this crazy idea for the Small Business School Challenge, and I was 100% on board because that was just a big piece of my life, and I had a chance to experience how to be part of that local community that really is the fabric of everything we love about where we live. All righty. We are here in the Richmond area on the East Coast. You're, well, you're in the Midwest, correct? Um, technically, I'm actually in Mexico today. So, I have okay. <laughs> so, my address. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. That, you know, folks, we've stepped it up here with on the mic with Mike. You know, I thought it was the Midwest, but well, we've gone to Mexico for this expertise for you. Let people know across the country, when you look at businesses, what's the temperature and the mood of the business community? Because we see it here in Richmond. Talk about what you're seeing out there, whether businesses are bouncing back or the state of business. You know, it's it's interesting, Mike. I see I see both depending on sort of kind of the mindset and the background of the business. I think many business owners are really still struggling because the impacts of what's happening this year (laughs) has extended far beyond what I think anybody anticipated earlier this spring. And we've had to shift from sort of a reactive short-term solutions into actually thinking, okay, if this is a long-term thing, how do we adjust? And that's a hard place for businesses who've been around for a long time to be. So I do see that side and that's where I think the Small Business School Challenge and other initiatives like this can help. But the other side, which I think is actually more hopeful, is looking historically at how innovation really comes out of times of challenge. You look back to the last recession. Many great big-name companies, the PayPals of the world, the Ubers of the world, were formed out of shifts that were beyond our control and adaptations and innovation. So I think that's the flip side of the coin is using this time to come up with new ways of doing things and what that'll do for the future is actually really exciting. When you look at your challenge and the, and the folks who are trying to get in and get some help, what are the areas that you're shocked that you see a number of, of industries trying to get in to get some help? And what are the areas where you think that, wow, I would think that more people would try and get some help? You know, we had a really interesting variety in our May challenge, and I'm looking forward to seeing that again. We had folks from food manufacturing come through and it brought to light whole different issues of supply chain and some of the other things that are happening globally. We had, as you would expect, a lot of restaurants, fitness, kind of the in-person services that sort of were immediately impacted with shutdowns. But then we also had things like education and kids camps and other sort of professional services, even cleaning services, which should be in high demand, but there was the issue of person-to-person contact and sort of perceived risks or something. So it's been really fascinating. I don't know that I've seen an industry that's untouched by the changes in 2020. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Katrina Cobb of the Small Business School Challenge. If you have questions for her, please give us a call at 804-778-8888. She's here to take questions uh, as well as explain to us the awesome program that she is working with. Can we have people here who who are speakers and try and get into the world of being a speaker? Could you talk a little bit about how to become an effective speaker and whether that's paid or or whatever, but how do people find those opportunities? 
Great question. So it depends on, again, I think your, your topic. The first key that almost any speaking coach or organization will tell you is, is figure out what you're passionate about speaking to and what you could just give your heart and soul into talking about for 20, 30 minutes without, without stress. So the topical piece I think would be an important step beyond that. It's then finding the audiences that care about what you care about. And that can be podcast groups that can be live events. Some people love to do this for free. Others that want to turn it into a paid, a paid opportunity. I think almost everybody starts out just with free events and free practice and guest speaking opportunities. There's in this day and age, there's tons of social groups and online organizations that will help you find and land free speaking opportunities. So the world is, is very much open to it, especially as we become more digital and more connected, which I think is really interesting. The best advice I'd have though is practice and get excited about showing up and talking. Well, we'd like to thank you for coming on, talking to us. Let people know once again how we can get involved in the challenge. And, uh, yes, let people know how they can get involved. Fantastic. So the challenge itself is October 15th through 17th. It's a 48-hour design thinking hackathon virtual challenge. It's open nationally. But if you have a small business and you're in the place of wishing you had some support and some answers and a better plan, to succeed over the next year. I encourage you to apply. Applications are open through the 7th, and you can go to our website, thesbschallenge.com. There's a big button that says Get Involved at the top. You can find everything you need up there, and we would absolutely love you to take five minutes to apply and see if we can match up with the team. Let me ask you, how many how many uh, businesses do you think that you guys will be able to help? We'll have room for two to 300 small businesses. This wow. Time. Yes. Okay. I was thinking maybe 10, and I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'd, I'd have to be really lucky. But two to three, you're able to help two to 300 businesses. We have almost 450 MBA students who have already volunteered to help these small businesses, and we pair them up a team of three to one. And so, yes, we have a lot of capacity. We're really trying to make an impact in many communities around the United States. All right. And what does the process look like? I, I get, you know, I get the email, hooray, I've been accepted. <laughs> what happens then? Yep. So after applications close next week, we will confirm everybody who's accepted. The MBA teams will get a little bit more information about the small businesses. We'll have a little survey that goes out and the businesses will be introduced the morning of the challenge. To the, to the MBA teams. And so it is a whirlwind. It's 48 hours, and there's a meet-and-greet kickoff in the evenings where they have a chance to share their challenges with their teams, and then the teams get to work. They spend most of the second day really brainstorming and ideating and going back and forth on ideas and strategies and bouncing them off each other and their business partner. Then they hone those down and refine them to a really specific set of recommendations that they think will have the biggest impact on the business. And they present those nationally and at the school level to a jury, to their peers, and to the, all the other businesses in the audience. And that's what gets shared. So one, uh, one person, one group wins, but everybody as a whole wins. Every business that's involved wins. Exactly. Every business is going to get personalized recommendations based on their specific challenges, their specific goals, and their specific business so they can move forward. Absolutely. That's we think that's a huge one. That's outstanding. I mean, that, that really is. I'm glad you brought that to our listeners. Uh, please stay engaged. We, you know, we're, going to hear, we're here to support you any way that we can. Just thank you for taking the time to come on the mic with Mike. I appreciate it. We appreciate you, Mike. Thanks for everything you're doing. All righty. So let folks know one last time how they can find you. All right. Find us online on all the socials and on the web at thesbschallenge.com. All righty. I appreciate it. Thanks. Now take your safe travels to you. Thank you, Mike. Ladies and gentlemen, Katrina Cobb of the Small Business School Challenge. That's awesome. So, folks, make sure that's some, that's really some great information right there. Those are resources. That's what this program brings you, SBA One Day, uh, Small Business School Challenge the next day. Two to 300 organizations that can, have, that can be helped. So if your business is in need of help, make sure you reach out and you can contact us here. I can be in touch with Katrina. If you have any questions, time is 1.50. The program is on the mic with Mike. We're here daily with you from 1 to 2 p.m. WJFN Radio. This is the place where the game changers meet and come to tell their stories. Oh, by the way, Pittsburgh Steelers for football games uh, spots are available. I'm an Eagles fan, but, uh, you know, 
I love me some Pittsburgh as well. So from back in the day, if you want your business to to get some great exposure, make sure that you uh, call Al Green at 804-778-8888. He's the man that can help you with that right there. Shout out to Tom Childry, the credit card guy who is out there helping businesses with their merchant services. Uh, so we will be back shortly. Oh, you know what? Really quick. I meant to meant to say, I know it, it lunch is, is past right now or we're in the middle of but you need to go. I tell you every day, you need to go to Charles Kitchen, 9127 West Broad Street, out in the West End, 270-6340. Folks, they have oxtail, curry goat, curry beef, spicy chicken. Their pan-seared Norwegian salmon is, as what people say, it's to die for. Curry mango, vegetarian, vegan options. Make sure you go out and check them out. It is the best. They got some spicy jackfruit people. That's what you need to do. Go check out Charles Kitchen in the West End. The food is outstanding. Tell Chef I gave you the info. Tell him Mike King says hello. Charles Kitchen, 9127 West Broad Street in the West End, 270-6340. Uh, they're out there feeding people. Take food home with you. I'm telling you, people, you will be a hero in your home. All right, we'll talk to you on the other side. Thanks now. Are you experiencing difficulties with paying your mortgage or bringing your mortgage current? If so, we can help. Give Neighborhood Home and Assistance a call at 1-800-441-6872 or text 757-951-3048 for an immediate response. We have over 10 years of mortgage experience working with some of the largest mortgage corporations in America. For more information, visit NeighborhoodHomeAssistance.com to schedule your free over-the-phone consultation. Remember, time is one thing we can't get back, and your home is your investment. Act fast. Before and after the salon has been active in the Richmond, Virginia community, providing hairstyling services for over 10 years. Before and after is located in downtown Richmond at 1917 West Cary Street, specializing in weaves, extensions, and growing healthy hair. Before and after provides a full suite of hair care services. Expert stylists Michelle Smith and Alicia Clark are well-trained to meet your styling needs at Before and After the Salon. Do you want a crystal clear picture of your finances? Dial 804-601-0532 and schedule your free financial review with Crystal Clear Financial Solutions. Find us online at crystalclearfinancialsolutions.com. Hi, I'm Tom Childry, the credit card guy with Beyond. I believe it should not be confusing or expensive for your business to accept credit cards. As a social enterprise business advocate, my mission gets you paid faster with fair rates, helping your business grow. We can be contacted at area code 804-503-8472, 804-503-8472, or at getbeyond.com. Again, I'm Tom Childry, the credit card guy. Quick, easy collect. We make it easier than you expect. Hi, Chef Michelle here of Mama Show Cafe, home of the Soul Rolls, located at 10811 Hall Street Road. Give us a call at 804-912-1644 or order online at mamashelves.com. Ask about our off-site catering options as well as our online ordering through Grubhub, Uber Eats, and DoorDash. Follow us on all social media at Mama Shelves Cafe. That's Mama Shelves, Soul South of the James. Mention Mike on the mic and get a free dessert on us. Special rules apply. RVA's leading social enterprise show. On the mic with Mike on WJFN Radio. Daily at 1 p.m., Mike King Biz delivering food for thought. To find out more about the dynamic host of On the Mic with Mike, please visit his website at MikeKingBiz.com. On the Mic with Mike, weekdays 1 p.m., part of the Midday Buffet on the all-new WJFN 92.7 and 100.5 FM. Oh, hello. I'm Louise Keaton from the Whistle Stop Theater Company. You're listening to On the Mic with Mike. Every day at 1 p.m. Cheers.
Hi, this is Melanie Staples. I'm from Waterfall Salon and Massage Men's Spa with two beautiful locations in Glen Allen and Bonaire, Virginia. Our business is growing and we're looking for spa professionals just like you. So if you're a mature person that would like to get some extra cash and be a front desk receptionist, or if you are a spa professional who is, has expertise in waxing or eyelash extensions, or as a master esthetician, we would love to have you. Um, if you are a massage therapist and would love to get the experience of working with a master medical massage practitioner, NASA Staples, Waterfalls is the place to be. Please give us a call at 804-644-4002 or visit us online and to submit your application. We look forward to meeting you. Thank you. Since the very beginning, CEO Magazine has been empowering women to be the chief executive of their lives. Sharon's dream was to create this lifestyle publication that helped women manage the hustle and bustle of their everyday. From hair to makeup and photo shoots to the look of your brand and even messaging, whether you are being featured on our front cover or inside our magazine or simply partner with us, our team of people go to work for you. You sign up for a complete experience. You can share your story on our social media platform or come and network at one of our events. As CEO, we want to see you thrive, innovate, and create the life that you'll love. I enjoy listening to On the Mic with Mike every day at 1 p.m. Are you tired of dating online? Bloom Matchmaking offers a safe and effective alternative. Every match is vetted and background checked. Bloom Matchmaking offers a personalized experience just for you. Check us out at bloommatchmaking.com or give us a call at 804-205-5063. Let Bloom take the stress out of dating. Mention On the Mic with Mike and receive 20% off. That number again is 804-205-5063. Bloom Matchmaking, where love grows. Some business show in RVA on the mic with Mike in RVA. Welcome back to On the Mic with Mike. It is the premier social business enterprise show in the area. I'd like to thank uh, Christine, Christina Cobb for giving us a call in and, and introducing us to that outstanding program. Uh, I'd also like to thank Alex and Lauren Glazer for, for giving us a call today. It's my pleasure coming to you on a daily basis from 1 to 2 WJFN Radio, uh, 100.5, 92.7, 820 AM. We're here bringing you the best and the brightest that Richmond has to offer. You can get more information. You can find out about the program, listen to more of the uh, past shows, if you'd like to, on the Mike with Mike RVA on Facebook. You can watch us daily here as well. Just like to thank you for tuning in every day. We bring you the best and brightest. I say tomorrow we have, uh, uh, we have uh, Paula Pardell. Thank you, Al. Paula Pardell from uh, Modern Love. She's here with uh, her segment, Modern Love, helping folks uh, find love out here. She is a matchmaker. Don't swipe, don't swipe left or right or any of that foolishness. Make sure that you contact Paula Pardell. Also, we have Jimmy Budd from uh, RVA Fashion Week is going to be in talking about fashion and what in the business of fashion. That's also a nonprofit uh, supporter that he does there as well. I'd like to thank the folks this week, SBA, for coming in. Tom Childry, the show sponsor. Uh, as well as uh, our other sponsors who are out there, Neighborhood Assistance, Mama Shell's Cafe. I'd like to thank them for being great partners. Paula Pardell for uh, sponsoring my uh, RVA, uh, the recent RVA. My uh, TV program is going to come back out. It's coming out in a couple weeks, showcasing RVA. As I say always, let's take care of each other. Times are brutal out here. Uh, COVID, we're trying to be COVID. As I say, my wife, I'm on the way home, baby, as soon as this is over. And uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks. WJFN Chester, 100.5 FM, 92.7 FM, and AM 820. Breaking news this hour from townhall.com.